What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good YouTube stuff. But today, I've got something that I am really excited for. This is going to be Avi, Avi Kaplan, of, formerly of Pentatonix fame, whom I miss every day. Uh, but he's still releasing like original stuff, and it's great. It's really good. Uh, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have heard Avi's solo stuff. If you have not, for some reason, definitely go check it out. It's really good. Uh, but he is actually going to be covering maybe one of my like top 20 favorite songs of all time today. Uh, it's going to be The Animals' House of the Rising Sun. Just something about, I, I forget his name, the lead singer of The Animals. He had such a beautiful, unique voice, especially for the time. Because the Animals were like a 60s band, 70s band, I want to say 60s band. And his voice was so deep and so powerful and so beautiful. And when you look at the dude or watch a video, especially when they were really young, you would think somebody dubbed like the song over like a random performance. These guys look like the Beatles. Even nerdier versions of the Beatles, yet somehow their lead singer had this like generational voice, which Avi Kaplan also has. So my hopes are sky high for this because I love Avi, I love the animals, and I love this track. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. And it's been a ruin of many a poor boy and God I know I am one my mother was a tailor she sewed my new blue jeans my father was a gambling man down in New Orleans. Well, the only thing a gambler needs is a suitcase and a truck. And the only time he's satisfied when he's on and drunk. God, this guy's got such a range. It's ridiculous. Can you whistle while you smile? Is that a thing? Not to do what I have done. Spend your lives in sin and misery. Now, surprise and sun. Well, I got one foot on that platform. Other foot on. Sun. 
And it's been a ruin of many a poor boy. And God, I know, I Wow, that was so good. Oh, oh, Avi. Avi, I, I miss you, pal. God, I had tickets to see you too, and then COVID happened. Son of a bitch. Ah. All right, let's go ahead and get big. All right, first off, I'm sorry for that video quality. I feel like Avi must have recorded that in, I don't know, 1962. Uh, I don't know, maybe he beat the animals to it. Uh, um, but that was great. That was wonderful. Avi has got such an amazing range. And I God, he must have just gotten bored at Pentatonix. Just only doing the bass or the low notes. I, I mean, he did definitely have his songs where he had really big parts. But his solo stuff is so versatile. And it's so much fun to listen to because you never really know what you're going to get. I, I, I had a decent idea of what this was going to be just because in the thumbnail I saw it was just him and a guitar and the voice of Avi. So I kind of pieced it together what it would sound like. But even still, like his voice is so dynamic and it goes from so damn low to really astonishingly high. And really, the crazy thing is, like one of the things that I loved most about the Animals version is the instrumentation. It's it's incredible. The, the guitar, the keyboard, the keyboardist is phenomenal, especially in that song. Yet I still found myself not missing any of that in this cover, in, in Avi's version. It was so cool. Like these were such different songs. They were profoundly different songs, despite the fact that they were the same song, if, if that makes any sense. Um, but I, I, yeah, I really dug it. It's like most of Avi's stuff. Like I love that he has gone down a more like folky, kind of soulful path than he was with Pentatonix, which was just straight up pop and Christmas music, like as much as you could do. And it's 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 great, because you can definitely tell it's something, it's a style of music that Avi has loved for a long time. And yeah, he's just, in my opinion, I feel like he's so happy to be able to make it now, you know, full time, that it really shows when he does these kinds of performances. Just him and a guitar. Hey, you know that song everybody loves? I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna do such a different job and I'm gonna fucking kill it. And he did because he's Avi Kaplan and he is so impressive. Uh, I guess the whistling was impressive. Uh, me personally, I cannot whistle. So I get jealous whenever I see anybody whistle or whenever there is whistling involved in a song. So good for you, Avi, I guess that you can whistle. <laughs> I'm just jealous. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. Super stripped down like Avi does. And still, somehow, even with just him and a guitar and, you know, his voice and him singing, somehow still made it so complex. There's so many things happening. And I, I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I have no idea how he does it. But I am here for the ride. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching a lot more Avi solo stuff because he is so damn talented. And hopefully you guys like it too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comments. I always like hearing that kind of stuff. And I will see you all in a reaction very soon.